Hey, it's Justin on 1017 The Beach. Really excited about something coming to uh, Southampton this summer. Uh, a very cool drive-in movie series for a great cause. I'm on the phone with Claudia Pilato. She's board president for All for the East End or AFTE. They're online at AFTE, A-F-T-E-E dot org. Claudia, first off, thank you for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Well, I am happy to be here. I, we're working hard to put together this drive-in movie series. I think it's going to be uh, a lot of fun and a time that people can have some outdoor family fun safely. So, um, And it's all for a good cause. Um, you probably know a little bit about All for the East End, um, but we have been since March working really hard to support the nonprofit community on the East End through our Feed the Need campaign. I mean, it's been incredible, the demand for food that is coming from different segments of our community. The pantries have been working overtime, and AFTI stepped in to help support them with funding so that they can feed more people. Yeah, that's terrific. I mean, uh, I recognize that for a lot of people, um, at this point in time, I I feel like there are people who are fortunate enough to not really be affected by the pandemic. Maybe they're back at work. Maybe everything in their life is uh, getting as close to normal as uh, as you could expect in this situation. But there are still a lot of people here on the east end of Long Island that are uh, the furthest from that being possible. They don't know if their jobs will come back. There's still a lot of work. And all for the East End, AFTI is um, still very much doing the best they can to help those that are in need here on the East End. Do you mind speaking to that a little bit, Claudia? Yeah, no, absolutely. When this all started, the pantries were seeing increased numbers like fivefold. And the demand was coming not just from the people that they had as clients before, but from all segments of the community. So, you know, consider that uh, restaurants didn't open and service jobs uh, were unsteady. And normally this time of year, what would happen is those, those restaurants would open up and people would have their jobs again. And so the, the demand on the pantries would start to fall. But that is not what's happening. And we have to realize that at the end of July, the the extra unemployment ends. The eviction moratorium is going to be ending. Um, Jobs may not come back. Uh, Kids may not go back to school. So now you're stuck with a situation where where the things that people need to get back to normal and pay their rent and put food on the table, those things may not happen. So although it feels a little bit better right now, the challenge is really going to continue. We don't expect to see... Any um, lessening of demand, probably through the fall, through the end of the year. So, AFTI, part of the reason that we're doing the drive-in movie series is so that we remind everybody, AFTI's here, there's a need, we need to keep coming together as a community and raise funds, and then also, everybody needs a break. And what better way to have a break than a drive-in movie, as long as it's in a safe um, outdoor setting. Talking with Claudia Pilato, uh, board president for All for the East End, doing a lot of work through, uh, especially the past couple of months with their Feed the Need campaign. You can learn more at AFTE.org. That's A-F-T-E-E dot org. So the Drive-In Movie Series, Claudia, tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's it's three weekends. It starts this weekend, Friday the 17th with Men in Black. Um, the 18th is Dirty Dancing, which, you know, is a really popular movie. When it When it ran in Bryant Park, it was just a huge smash hit. Um, and then we go to uh, the 24th and 25th, and then to the 31st and August 1st. And don't quote me on exactly what order the movies are, but we have the second weekend is Raiders of the Lost Ark and Rocky. The final weekend is Jurassic Park and Transformers, all really fun family sort of blockbuster summer movies. But what we're doing that I think is unique to any other drive-in movie, because obviously a lot of organizations are trying to do something similar, and there's room for everybody, is that when you buy your ticket, you get to select your space. You go to AFTI.org, you click on Buy Tickets, you'll see a map. You'll be able to click on a space and buy a specific space. The spaces don't give you not only a room for your car, but an equal amount of space that we're calling a tailgating space. So you'll have a place where you can put down a blanket or bring some lawn chairs. And as long as you are in your um, safe space, you can just enjoy the movie and we don't worry about uh, masks. But if you leave that space anywhere else on the property, you need to have a mask on. So if you get up to go to the bathroom or you just take a walk outside, you know, to, I don't know, maybe have a friend down one of the rows and you go see them, you must, must, must wear your mask. 
Um, we'll have um, the sanitation is all being provided by uh, Norsic. Skip Norsic is a wonderful community member and is helping us out. So um, they have attendants that will be cleaning, you know, disinfecting. We'll have hand sanitizers. Um, we have, um, you know, uh, masks and things like that. So we're trying to create the most fun that you could possibly have on, a, on an evening watching a great movie and having enough space so that you are not just stuck in your car if it's a hot night, but you have some room. So you can bring a cooler with some um, snacks and drinks. Um, we're also really excited because Fresh Direct is going to be providing snacks that we'll be giving to every car as a car drives in. You'll get some. Um, I'm not going to tell everyone what it is because it won't be a surprise. <laughs> but uh, we're we're very um, happy that Fresh Direct has become a partner. And you know we've got lots of community partners too. You know the thing about an event like this is that it is about the fundraising as well. And in order to really make it work, you need sponsors. So we have some really great sponsors, BNB Bank, Corcoran, Intel Tech, um, you know, just Cor Cook Marin. I mean, we have a lot of communities, and I said Skip um, from Norsic and Ocean Electric, they're doing in-kind contributions. So people are really coming out to help us, and we are very, very grateful. Um, it's going to be a really – it will be a really fun night. So – you know, there's a lot of tickets still for sale, so I hope that people will will um, go online and buy tickets. The other thing is that they can drive up. We should have some tickets available if you decide Friday, hey, I'd really like to see Men in Black or Saturday Dirty Dancing, you know, come on by. You know, it sounds really exciting. I know that people um, at this point, especially it's been nice outside for the past couple of weeks, haven't had too much rain. Everyone wants to get out of the house, wants to do something fun. And this is a great opportunity to do something fun with the whole family. Um, and I really like that there is, um, you have a, a lot of space there. I've seen the the area there uh, behind the Uck Lodge, it's huge. So it's a great space to be, to, to see a movie and hang out um, without necessarily have to worry worry about social distancing all the time because you have enough space for yourself. And you know, the other thing is, is we the the movie screen that we have is LED, so it should have a lot of clarity. You'll, wow. you'll be you'll tune in in your car on the radio, but there'll also be speakers, so you should be able to hear really well. Um, every movie starts at eight thirty, but we'll open the field at seven thirty, so you can come in, get set up get ready for the movie, and then uh, open your popcorn, and here comes Men in Black. <laughs> and you're doing something that's really good for the community. You're helping to feed the need, literally, and of course, figuratively. More details at a, um, afte.org, A-F-T-E-E.org. Uh, really quick, before we wrap up, um, if you're a community member or, or someone that is listening to this, and of course you want to go see a movie, but you, you feel like you want to get involved more, uh, Claudia, how can someone get involved more? Um, I would say uh, send me an email at info at afti.org and let me know, you know, what you're thinking. Um, we also obviously continue to need donations, so you can go to afti.org and, and make a donation. Um, just as a quick FYI, we do have some – we've tried to stagger the spots and make them affordable. So the, there are spots available for $25, and then as you go closer to the screen, it includes – a larger donation to AFTI. So, um, you know, there may be a spot right in front of the of the um, screen that's a little bit more expensive, but everybody, there should be a level that everybody should be able to come. And I also do want to mention that we're, we're um, spots will be given to pantries and pantry workers. So as we say thank you to them, um, that's a really important thing because they have been working double time to get their clients and the people who they work with to make sure that they have food. So I think on Friday night, um, the Children's Museum of the East End, which has a really important pop-up pantry, they're going to have a lot of people here, there. Um, and Peconic Land Trust on Saturday night, they're doing some really innovative farming projects to get fresh produce to the pantries. So uh, everybody's Everybody's going to get something out of this, and uh, we hope it'll be a big success. We still need to sell a lot more tickets, so get out there and tell your friends and get some people together and come on down. 
Well, we will do our best to make sure everybody knows about this. Uh, to me, this seems like a great thing to do. Um, in a summer that's a little bit different, where there's not all the different activities that you might usually like in a su- in summertime normally, uh, this is something really nice you can be a part of. It's outdoors. And again, and uh, it means a lot to me to, that it's going toward a good cause and, and helping people right in our community, right in our backyard, our, our next door neighbors. Um, AFTE.org for more details. AFTEE.org. Uh, Claudia. Honestly, this is um, thank you for all you're doing. Aside from the drive-in uh, movie series, Showtime in Southampton, everything that you've done, and everyone, all the board, everyone involved with AFTI, thank you for what you've been doing the past couple of months and what you will continue to do. And of course, thank you for helping to set up this uh, this drive-in movie series. I think it'll be really fun. Yeah, it's called Showtime in Southampton. So see you at the movies, and thanks so much to everybody for helping out.